blurry. What's up guys? I'm back from SHOT Show. Back to my hometown in Utah. Welcome back to the vlog. Man, I feel like uh, I might as well just title this vlog as like the truck talk because I'm always in my truck. It's pretty much that in my house. Just kind of catch you up on what's going on. I got back from SHOT Show the other day. Casey, B Mac, and I, we went down to SHOT Show to do a bunch of meetings and if you want, go to the Hushin channel and we did a, like a vlog over the two day SHOT Show experience and we did a little bit of covering some of the new products. But today, I'm cruising up north to Mountain Ops headquarters. And go see what those guys are up to. Jordan and Casey both have been super busy with expos. This is the expo season. We we're both at ATA, Jordan went to Sheep Show, we went to SHOT Show, a hunting expo's coming up here in Salt Lake February 8th. So a lot of shows. So for those of you who are not from Utah watching this, if you've ever heard me complain about Utah's air quality, it pretty much looks like this. And a lot of people just think it looks cloudy and it is kind of overcast a little bit, but that is mostly smog. Like look down here, you can see the outline of the mountain. Horrible, horrible air quality here in Utah. If you don't believe me, look it up. made it to the office the office that will not much longer be the mountain ops office a couple videos ago we went down to what's going to be the new corporate office for mountain ops the building that they got is super sweet so I'm excited for the move Jordan actually told me he bought me a desk so I just might have a little office space up there which would be super rad because like I said before I just it's nice to have a place to go and work. I do most of the work I do from home. And it's nice to have somewhere to go and kind of collaborate and brainstorm and kind of have these little think tank where everyone can have ideas and just, uh, you know, get out of the house, socialize a little bit. You guys already know we're at Mobetta's. Last time we were at Chipotle? Last we were at Chipotle, Chipotle on the way to the office. This time we're at Mobetta's, but the thing that we were trying to do at Chipotle was figure out what was the best. Here everything's good. We already know what's the best because we eat here a lot. It's like a Hawaiian place, right? It's like a Hawaiian, Hawaiian grill. Mm -hmm. We got, Eric's like likes the uh, dry rub, the teriyaki. Teriyaki sauce brown rice and some macaroni salad in there. We're gonna grub, eat this, and then I don't know what we're gonna do, but I'm gonna try to talk Jordan into giving you guys a good motivational speech because the last time he did that, he got a lot of positive comments. <laughs> so maybe he can leave us all with like a little pep talk. We'll see if he's up for it later. Let's see if I can do a more better job than I did last time. All right, we just got back to the office. Lunch was dynamite. Like I showed you guys earlier, it's super smoggy, somewhat overcast. Some of that is blown out and burned off, so we're actually getting some blue skies. And with that, we're gonna leave you with a, I don't know, we should like name these. You know, every time I hang out with you, you should give one. Should give some kind of like. Uplifting, uh, positive. Uh, what, like, you know how it's motivation or something? Mm -hmm. Maybe it's like Jordivation, Jordivation. Okay, Jordivation. here's here's your first, uh, well, it's second episode of Jordivation. All right guys, so here's actually, you know, a lot in these vlogs, you get to see Eric doing a lot of things, eating food, <laughs> going to the office, shooting bows, whatever's going on in his life. But sometimes we have some conversations off camera. We talk about a lot of things. And so something that we've kind of talked about today that I think is important for all of you guys to understand. And something that I think I try and work on every day and try to make sure that I'm doing in my own life is this. It kind of correlates with the weather. Every one of us has a light. All right. The sun is shining. It's a beautiful day. Blue skies. It's it's awesome. Every single person who's watching this video, you each have your own light, or you could say you're a candle, okay? Let me tell you something that my parents taught me that I've always lived by. You trying to put somebody else's light out, or candle, doesn't make your light any better, or any brighter. So just remember that. We all have a light that we're trying to shine and show, and, and, uh, and we all have good things about us, and, and we all are uniquely different, and that's what's beautiful about life, is just that, that we're all different. Own that, be different. Don't feel like you need to be something you're not, just except who you are because that's who you were you were made to be but don't 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 put others down don't 
don't think that you that your light is brighter or better than anyone else. In fact, what happens is, is if we we all come together, we can make an incredibly bright light. That would be my uh, jo what do we call it? Jordan. Jordivation. Jordivation. You putting someone else's candle out doesn't make your light any brighter. So just remember that. That's your Jordivation of the day. Or in other terms, be the without shitting on everyone else. <laughs> I just came from Mountain Ops. I forgot one thing, and that was to get myself more Yeti. Green apple's gone, watermelon's gone. So now I'm down to blue raspberry. I'm just gonna grab some pre-workout. Head to the gym, I'm meeting my buddy Martin. We haven't been able to train together for a while, so I'm gonna have a good session with him. And then I'm gonna come home and get back onto those tapes. I know the last vlog I promised you guys I would look into my Hi8 videotapes, which I've done some researching on converting them into video file format. And some places here offer them on a DVD, but I don't want a DVD. I wanna get them on a flash drive or like a memory card. So I'm researching some of the companies that offer it like Costco and some of these other photography places. But if I can, I wanna hook it up to a program on the laptop or on the PC and then just import them and save them as video files that way. Dang tapes over there mixed up with all my baseball cards. Get those things going so we can show you guys some of those first tapes from when I first started filming my adventures. They'll actually be really good for me to go through too. So when I get back, we'll do that. Until now, we'll catch you later. What's up guys, welcome back. I have gone to the gym, trained, I know you didn't see any of that, but I've gone to the gym. Martin and I had a great back workout. We did all kind of back movements, rows, lats, pull-ups, of course, and uh, a bunch of good stuff. But now I'm back home. Before I dig into my videos, I want to show you my dinner. Check this out. We got bacon. This is deer burger. This is from my Colorado buck. Some veggies, like a whole medley. Green pepper, onion, red pepper, carrot, and asparagus, and some zucchini. I just throw them all together. Some of those flavors People would probably say those flavors clash, but I just throw them all together. They're healthy, they taste good. A little bit of olive oil in there. And then for the meat, I've just really mixed all kinds of stuff. Montreal steak seasoning, a little bit of red pepper, garlic powder, seasoned salt, and some deer seasoning. I just threw all that together and kind of whipped it up with a little bit, like a little bit of Worcestershire sauce in the patty. And now I'm just waiting for those to cook. What I like to do for hamburger is literally only flip those bad boys one time. Let them cook for seven minutes, flip them one side, let them cook for, I don't know, six, seven minutes, and then uh, enjoy it. But I'm gonna sit down once this stuff's done, eat dinner, and then I'm gonna dig into those videos I showed you guys and see if we can start getting some of those played back, even if it's on the TV or on the laptop, and uh, try to import some of that stuff because I think it's gonna be pretty interesting to watch. All right, I got the power cord hooked up and a tape in, looks to be blank so far. Coming up with nothing on this tape so far. Let's wonder what we got in here. Antler view. Hmm, there's gotta be something on there. Sounded like a good one, jumping cars and stuff. All right, let's play this one. Oh, there we go. Check that out. That's my very first Jeep Cherokee I bought. This is so cool. That was my first vehicle I bought. At, uh, I think I was just out of high school. My first vehicle was a Suzuki Samurai that my dad let me use, like the family vehicle. All the siblings, I got it passed down to them. The first vehicle I paid for myself was this Jeep Cherokee. Somebody had lifted it and kind of put some big tires on it and stuff, and I thought it was the coolest thing in the world. So there's us doing some crawling in the snow. I'm gonna plug the USB into the port on the laptop and see what happens. Let's see if this pulls up any of my programs. It's not doing anything on the computer. The little bit of importing I've done on old tapes, I've used an editing software program to import it. it doesn't recognize anything on, on Final Cut. Oh my gosh. Remember on the, the back of this tape, it said jumping a car? I'm gonna show you guys this clip. And for any young people, anybody out there, young or old, don't do this at home. <laughs> Man, they don't make cars that strong anymore. It's so funny, my friend worked at the gas station down there and literally bought that car for like 50 bucks. He's like, let's just go rally this thing. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is gonna be a lot of work, guys. I'm trying to go through these tapes. It's not working over here, so I might just have to go take them to like a store to get uh, transferred from these old tapes 
to like a file format, a digitized format. And then we can like show you guys and do like some voiceovers and just go through a whole bunch of them and uh, show you some of the things I filmed when I was young. So anyways, I'm gonna keep going through these. If I see anything good, I'll let you know. Oh, uh, check this out. Me and my friend going through some of his shed pile. That is a ginormous set of mule deer sheds. Looking for bucks at night, there's a nice buck. Man, man there used to be a lot of deer down in central Utah, even like not that long ago. You don't quite see them like that anymore, but we used to see so many bucks. I've been burning this candle for like the last 20 minutes in my house trying to make it smell better because last night you guys saw that I cooked bacon and deer meat in the iron skillet. I just let the bacon grease sit overnight so it would settle and that way I can like scoop it out of there and dispose of it properly not down the drain. But it stinks so bad. Every time I cook deer and bacon together, I don't know what, the after smell is the worst. But tip of the day, don't, don't do that unless you want your house to stink really bad. Saturday now, I'm getting my stuff together, just going to go for a morning workout. I had plans to go with my buddy Phil, but as soon as I woke up, he texted me and said he's not feeling good, so I'm just going solo. How I usually go anyways. Looks like it's uh, kind of smoggy and overcast again. Not really much to look at. Flat lighting, this winter stuff, man. It's killing me. I need to get out of here. couple days I've been doing a lot of cleaning in the old house and I went through a bunch of my clothing lately every time I've opened my closet I just get so frustrated because it's overflowing with t-shirts and then on top of that I'd have new t-shirts and new gear brand new in packages so I decided it was bothering me so much that I'd get it together such a heavy bag of clothing So cold. Get back in the heat. Oh man. Woo. It's so cold out there and it is windy. My stupid seat no. <laughs> Ugh, there it goes. That was a bunch of used clothing and some just new clothing. A lot of gear that I've gotten over the years, like literally over a long period of time. Must be some kind of hoarder or something. I just have these like ideas that I'll need these things or I'll want these certain items that that like uh, what's the word I'm looking for? What's that word? Can't think of the word. What's the freaking word? Oh my gosh, what's the word? I can't think of the word. So, anyways, what I'm saying is there's items that I'd always think like, oh, it'd be cool to keep these things. For example, this the old like original Bushnell. 10 by 50 binoculars. Had them for years. Been sitting around doing nothing but collecting dust and getting in the way. So I decided to throw those on KSL and sell them. And an old pair of Nike shades that are actually brand new, never used. So that's just another thing I like to do when I go through my house. I'll donate things like that that make it simple. Hats, shirts, and you know, clothing items. But uh, anything with a little bit of value, I'll just try to hustle and sell on the classified. Pocket cash, but you know, why not? It's either garbage or sell it and let somebody else enjoy it. Guys, when I was going through all those tapes last night, I'm finding all my little antler collection videos, like showing off what's in my room. I'm so excited to get those converted over to a digital format so I can share them. I'm gonna drink the pre-workout. Let's see. Turn that down. I'm gonna get blasted for copyright issues if we play too much of that music. Curious though, what type of music do you guys like to listen to when you work out? People think it's pretty funny because I do not own a single CD. There's two music downloads on my phone. I've just, I love music. I'm, I love to listen to music, all types of music, but I'm a radio guy. I'm a Pandora guy. I don't any, own any albums. So when like the topic of music comes up, I'm always like the guy in the corner who's like, I don't know. I don't know who sings that, I just, yeah, I heard that song on the radio. And the same goes for movies. I literally don't own a DVD. I don't watch movies 
I don't buy music. It's too expensive for that stuff, man. We're gonna get the day started with Blue Raspberry Mountain Ops Yeti. Starting to feel the flush. I actually like to feel a little flush right before I go work out. So I'm here on an empty stomach. That's gonna be another vlog down. Really appreciate you guys watching. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Videos are coming out every week, one or two a week. We'll see, just kind of going with the flow and it depends on how busy I am doing the Hush stuff and uh, committing my time to that channel. So if you're not already subscribed to Hush, go check out the Hushin' channel. That's where we put up all our hunting videos and fishing videos if you want to check that out. Until next time, guys, cheers.